All right, welcome to one of our last artists of the week. We're going to be focusing on Georgia O'Keeffe, and I'm super excited about that because I learned about her when I was a little kid, and I've loved her ever since. I think she's a really cool artist, but it's up to your opinion. You can agree or disagree. Um, I kind of look at her as almost the Picasso of like American art because she kind of broke down some barriers for art, so it helped people feel a little bit more free in, in what they wanted to paint and how they wanted to paint, instead of always having to kind of do the same conventional painting styles. Um, she was extremely famous for these huge paintings she did of flowers, where she really close, she like kind of zoomed in on flowers and painted the small details of them, very, very huge. Now, she, um, she lived in New York for much of her life, but later on she moved to New Mexico and she was extremely um, inspired by the landscapes there and often painted um, the mountains that she saw and she did it in an abstract way which me basically means um, or an almost abstract way which that basically means you're retaining the idea of something that you're looking at without necessarily um, exactly replicating what you're seeing so yes we're looking at mountain ranges do the mountains exactly exactly look like that and have a lot of these funky colors no not necessarily but you could still tell that these are mountains Okay. Um, she's also very famous for um, painting these like skeletons that she found when she was in New Mexico and she thought they were very beautiful and decided to try and represent them in a very beautiful way in her paintings. So they're not so scary. Okay, here's another close-up of a flower. She really closed in on those um, details that we tend to overlook. I mean, who really takes a picks up a flower and like holds it close to their eye and picks up those details? Um, and I remember watching a video about her when I was, I think, 12, and somebody asked her, well, why do you choose to paint these flowers so big? And her response was, well, why do you choose to um, paint rivers so small? Which is clever. Okay, um, this picture will give you an idea of how big her paintings were. And another cool thing that I learned about Georgia O'Keeffe was that she often just wore like white and black, probably mostly black. She didn't want what she wore to ever like conflict with the bold colors, um, bold, beautiful colors that she had in her paintings. As you can obviously hear, another landscape of New Mexico. Okay, and then one last one. She became really well known. Um, she kind of broke out of like her art school kind of um, standard ways of you know painting things a certain way, and she was really known for her bold colors and her um, big brush strokes and stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna come back to our video soon um, for our high le higher level question. Now these are the um, bullet points about the information on Georgia O'Keeffe. I, as usual, I'd like you to take a look at them. I basically touched on them while um, we were talking, but um, uh, I want you to make a summary. Take a look at them, make a summary in the Google Doc. And in terms of your higher level question today, I'm going to come back to that video because I'm going to speed it up. Take a look at the video. This is a wonderful video to show you a lot more of her paintings, and it'll explain a lot about her. Okay, you'll see a lot more examples. But what I really like is her quote at the end, okay? Um, so, I've been absolutely terrified every moment of my life, and I've never let it keep me from doing a single thing I wanted to do. And to be an artist, it can kind of be scary to try and make it as an artist. Um, you're making these works that kind of represent you and, and your ideas and your creativity and to put it out to the world, um, it can be a very, very scary thing because um, fear of judgment, of being rejected, of being um, criticized, uh, that could be, that could stop you from, from doing that. So my question to you is not going to be so much about art, but just a connection to our artist. Um, what is something that you would love to do with your life that kind of terrifies you. We all have passions and, and, and hopes and dreams and stuff, but it can be very, very scary, scary to try and pursue that. I mean, hey, I love being a teacher, but if you don't think I'm scared of you guys sometimes when, on that first day of school and what you're going to say to me and if you're going to like me or hate me, oh my God, I'm sometimes I'm terrified. Um, so I'll ask the same question to you. What, what terrifies you? What do you want to do but kind of terrifies you? Um, because making art and being an artist apparently terrified George O'Keefe, but she still pushed forward. She made over 2,000 paintings in her life. It's amazing. Um, so what inspires you? What, what do you want to do, but it kind of scares you? So, Good luck.